What's up everyone, I'm CPT Kung Fu, and this video is dedicated to helping you create the greatest Fortnite creative escape map. I will help you achieve this by giving you ideas and brief overviews of items and techniques that you can use to completely stump the people playing your map. Let's get right into it. Now, I would like to quickly point out that this is not an in-depth guide or a step-by-step -step guide on how to create an escape room map from scratch. I'll simply be demonstrating all the different tools you'll be needing to do so, as well as giving you ideas for levels. So, let's drop down into my little hall of glory filled with tools that you'll be needing to create an escape map. So, first of all, we have the explosive device. Now, this is really important for obviously blowing things up. Now, you're probably going to need to blow something up at some point. A, a player is going through your map, and you need to create an entrance, a hidden entrance, something sneaky, something very big and theatrical, that, and you'll need this explosive device to do that. Alright, so make sure you use the explosive device to create secret entrances and whatnot. Next, the billboard and the HUD device, okay? So I think maybe you should listen to the billboard. But the billboard and the HUD device that is actually right here, but is it's invisible. They are used for communicating to the player playing your map by giving instructions or tips. Now communication is very important because sometimes if you make an escape map too complicated, the player will not know what to do. So you have to give them an objective, something to follow, something to look for, all right? And if you come over here and hit the trigger, you'll see a little message pop up that's really useful because the next item is, guess what? It's the trigger. The trigger is super duper important because you can make it invisible. I didn't make it invisible here to demonstrate it, but you can make it really big and invisible, okay? So players can hit it without even knowing and it'll activate something sneaky. I don't know, maybe it'll activate an explosive device to open a new door, or maybe it'll activate a message like it did for me, or maybe it'll activate some music, or I don't know. But triggers are super duper uber important okay use a lot of triggers okay and also listen to the message now next we have the teleporter this is also super important you can also make these invisible and it can be used to teleport you anywhere maybe to another section of the map to a different realm to your doom so let's see where this one takes me and it was to my doom so the teleporter can be a troll it can be whatever you want it to be it's really super useful as well, so I suggest you 100% use it. Next, we have the buttons. Now, we have just the regular old button, and we have the button that requires you to grab something to activate it, okay? Now, buttons are really useful. You can make them really tiny and put them in really sneaky spots that nobody will see. And you could use this button and use the channels to connect it to like the explosive device. And when somebody finds a very small button hidden away in a nice little corner and they activate it and then this explodes and they get to the next level because it opens up a new doorway. And this can be used for this button too. But this button requires an item. In escape maps, it's great to just have a ton of items that somebody has to find. Not too many, you know, that, that's, it gets too confusing at some point. But just to have items going around that they have to collect like this here, okay? And this leads me to my next item, the item spawner. So item spawners can be made small, be made very sneaky, where people have to find an item to activate a button or to use a vending machine i don't have a vending machine in the, my little hall of glory here but it could definitely be used in an escape map other things that are really useful is these coins all right you can use any of them they're super useful because like i said a player is going to need an objective that you can communicate to them through these things so maybe the objective is to find five of these puzzle pieces or five of these triangular prism things or five of any of them or like a million of them or i don't know but they just have to find a bunch of items and they have to go through a series of challenges to get now the last thing i'll be showing to you is corn all right 
Now, the corn can be found in a bunch of the galleries, like the farm props gallery. And corn mazes are super awesome because, as you can see, you can't. Like, as in, you can't see. So, it's great for hiding sneaky things. I usually always use the... Next on the list is invisible traps. Now, I have a tutorial on how to do this, okay? If you use these objects from the parkour gallery what you could do is that traps will still activate through them okay so this will be really good like maybe a trap baiting part of the map where they gotta go like this and then you know like this or something but then if you use my invisible trap technique you can wrap around here and jump up and enter a completely hidden secret area. Now, these invisible trap things, super duper useful. The link on how to do this will be in the description and in the pinned comment. You should definitely 100% go check that out. Now, last but not least is just invisible stuff. Stuff that you can phase through, stuff that you can fall through, such as this carpet. This carpet looks completely 100% normal until I walk through it and oh my god, I fell right through. And then this mirror here, oh my god, I walked right through it and guess what? This fireplace too. Crouch right through it. Oh no. So those are all really useful techniques. If you want to know how to do that phase through the item thing that I just showed you, I also have a video for that, okay? And it'll also be in the description and in the pinned comment. You have to go check it out. And my next video is going to be showing you a tutorial on my latest escape map that I've built myself. That's pretty confusing. I'll have the, the code for the escape map in the description and in the pinned comment and on the screen right now so it's in a lot of places you should definitely go check it out see if you can beat it and then see if you can identify the techniques that i used and maybe you'll like to use them in one of your own maps all right thanks for watching please subscribe if this helped in any way of shape or form and i hope to see you all in the very next video later